Full self-driving beta software error, Tesla recalls 11,706 vehicles. The latest software error caused phantom emergency braking events. In September, Tesla launched its full self-driving beta update. However, right from the beginning, it was clear Tesla wasn't confident about the software, as it made early testers sign NDAs. One second, before we start the video, kindly subscribe to this channel. That will motivate us to make more videos like this. Your support is very important for us. Only, you can help us to reach the next milestone. Now, let's get started. Naturally, many of these NDAs were rejected. Still, we found out about the software's error straight from Elon Musk in the last month, when the automaker announced a rollback to an earlier version because of some issues in the new version. Unfortunately, for Tesla and Musk, the situation hasn't been any better after that. The EV giant has voluntarily recalled around 11,704 vehicles after confirming that a communication error may cause false forward collision warning, FCW, or unexpected activation of the automatic emergency brake, AEB, system, says the NHTSA. Many different models were affected. All of them have one thing in common, they had early access to the full self-driving beta program. However, on the positive side, Tesla states it hasn't been informed of any injuries or crashes caused by the software glitch, which was announced on the 23rd of October. Within a day of the release, customers had already started sending messages to Tesla and advising they believed the program was in error. The customers already started reporting Tesla, informing it that the software was facing an error. This is because the new update included a software communication disconnect between two of the vehicle's onboard chips. Which cars are most at risk of failure? The NHTSA states it had found that the Model S, the Model X, and the Model 3 all have been affected by the issue when they were produced between 2017 and 2021. Model Y is not included in the issue, Model Y which is manufactured between 2020 and 2021 is unaffected by the software issue. Luckily, Tesla is already making progress and has issued an over-the-air update that will solve the issue. Owners will receive letters informing them of the nature of the problem is and how it's been taken care of. Tesla does not usually release recalls if necessary. Still, it could be an indication that it is feeling criticism of safety agencies who do not like the lack of regulations surrounding the safety features of the brand. What do you think about this? Let me know this by commenting below. I would love to see them. I can go through your comments and share my feedback. Thanks for watching this video completely. Kindly subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. Thanks again, have a great day.